Hey, what's up guys Indian Sense here welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage today I'm gonna show you what I think are the top 10 attack mission mains in the game as of now I took a poll on YouTube and asked you guys which video which ranking video should I do first and this was the result so yeah attack mission ranking video first now before beginning the video I would like to say something that the rankings might differ from your perspective and it is definitely uh, different somewhat different from the tier list on reddit now I have made this ranking based on my own experience as well as other players using these shinobis I have input my feedback as well as theirs in deciding the ranking my main point is not every trap clearing shinobi is a good attack mission main <laughs> so now things are cleared so let's jump to the video from number 10 to 1. Starting off with my personal favorite at rank number 10 is Hokage Naruto Rikit. I mean he was my very first attack mission main in this game. I started my channel with Hokage Naruto Rikit. Uh, the summoning video you can go check those out way way back in the videos. And some of you might think why the hell is he even in the ranking list. I mean well for starters I like him a lot and second his combo is insane. I mean. He can just literally spam his combo and keep the enemy knocked down from a distance. He doesn't even need to go close to the enemy. His trap clearing is not so good but it can work. Uh, he can keep his team together if you use him like perfectly. Uh, his iframe is short I know but it works against some of the ultimates, short ultimates. Uh, ultimate, his ultimate, the Riker ultimate is one of my favorites. Looks cool, multi hit target and uh, high damage, 60 second cooldown, what else. So he can face some CP issues along the way but if you take supports like uh, Rin then I think you will not face any issues. Uh, if you use someone like Ashura as well then you can just you know spam the Jutsus but keep an eye on your CP. Otherwise he is still good but you know is not so par with the other characters in the current meta. So at rank number 9 we have Temari Rekid with us. First of all her trap clearing Jutsu is very unique I mean it goes for like 5 seconds. Plus it gives like confusion and keeps the enemy getting hit inside the tornado so that's nice and all of her jutsus are long range except the old 3 star which is an iframe a very small iframe I would say uh, same as Hokage Naruto but her new ultimate is definitely definitely better than the old one it covers like full room forward and multi hit jutsu so that's nice but again she is a red character she is gonna face CP issues along the way and her movement speed is little bit slow but if you get somehow you know a uh, speed boost from your support then it's not gonna be a issue to be honest I think she should be at number 10 but just because her trap clearing jutsu works slightly better or more better than Hokage Naruto I'm going to keep her at rank 9 you can just you know if you want you can just push up or push down whatever you prefer soloing with her in the current meta current portraits is definitely not gonna be easy in the high leagues especially but she can carry the team uh, very easily because of her trap clearing jutsu so yeah she has uh, rank number 9 at rank number 8 we have Rin with us her trap clearing is decent I mean it's good and her kunai jutsu gives attack buff to all the allies on the same floor plus it's iframe and the kunais give a lot of damage from close range so it kind of works like a shotgun I mean if Rin has a high damage uh, high attack power and annihilation power up then uh, it can like give a huge amount of damage from close range and coming up to her heal the her heal is the best I mean it gives uh, initial heal to every ally on the same floor plus a heal over time plus recovers 200 CP of every ally on the same floor and 100 CP for herself so yeah as you can see the heal is the best and coming on to her ultimate the ultimate is a life savior I mean 10 second invincibility at max level uh, I mean 10 second invincibility at level 1 as well as at level max but at max level she can use her ultimate again in 20 seconds after the first one ends. Although she lacks damage output so she can solo but it's not advisable in the current meta so 
don't solo with her she works nicely with a good damaging support uh, like kankuro ems and other supporters who give a lot of, of damage so yeah uh, take some supports with you so she will as a main she will do good at rank 7 we have sage of six path naruto his trap killing jutsu has massive range but can cause problems with the walls i mean if there are walls and when you use a trap killing jutsu and the walls get enabled and there are tornado traps then your support will run towards the wall and get separated but if you have like klm hashirama and gara version 2 as support uh, they can take care of that with their long range jutsus his seal is not guaranteed but the jutsu is really awesome because it pretty much seals like 50 or 60% of the time and pulls the enemy towards naruto plus it's a good jutsu to summon the enemy with also his four star lava shuriken does a huge amount of damage plus gives dot damage uh, his old ultimate is very high cp and cooldown but you pretty much use that ultimate in final room only because rest of the time it is not even required Uh, his old ultimate at higher level is good and it has like low cooldown and cp but his new ultimate can be used but it can be easily i framed and you cannot insta cast it like the old one at rank number 6 we have obito rikit so when his rikit came he became the solo god immediately i mean uh, he is not as good as before but he is still doing strong uh, his teleport jutsu enables him to randomly jump to any floor which is useful in fast fortress completion and his shuriken jutsu is a guaranteed seal and does good amount of damage with lunge nature tools on him and the jutsu can be used first and then summon the enemy so that the enemy gets sealed immediately uh, his rikit ultimate is one of the longest insta castable and cannot be i framed by ais it's better if you use jump skill instead of a four jutsu uh, if you are using him as a main he doesn't suffer any cp issues like uh, other blue units but it can face problems with you know top tier defenders on revival especially just before the final room our uh, time could run out defeating someone like uh, gara version 2 on revival he is definitely not able to keep team together so but he is meant to be used as a solo main so at rank 5 we have indra with us he has like two guaranteed paralysis jutsus and one of his paralysis jutsus thanks to the zero cp cost it recovers like 100 cp so he faces no cp issues whatsoever his teleport is cool and it sets a paralysis damaging area although he has a small seal in his four star but the jutsu is pretty decent i frame check out my full indra review video for more details his final room entry is so far the best as of now in the game and his ultimate can be used this way to summon the sh- uh, shinobi and kill them immediately Damage output is also good but he lacks a uh, defense so if he like runs into a good defender like someone like Gara V2 and if he gets stuck in a combo then it could be fatal for him Now keeping the team together is an issue for him because he doesn't have any trap killing jutsu or something like that but he is meant to be soloed I mean he's a pretty good solo attack mission main and as you know his final room entry is so far the best so yeah number 4 we have jubito rikit i mean he is so much better than indra uh, first of all his searing jutsu gives a huge amount of damage it can literally one shot almost everyone it also recovers cp a lot of other attack buffs and defense debuff evasion buff stuff like that for a complete info check out my review on him his basic attacks has the highest damage among all shinobis his teleport also has high damage plus speed buff and a lot of other debuffs and he has like two i frames one is teleport and other one is old three star the ultimate is awesome in terms of range and also recovers hp and it's a pull type ultimate so yeah uh, so finally speaking he can be called the buff god i mean he literally has like all the buffs and debuffs on him it's hard to keep the team together because again he doesn't have any trap killing but he is meant to be soloed in attack mission you can either go with two i frames in attack mission which is highly recommended or with all four stars if you choose to go with like all four stars you get high defense buff plus three shotguns which is insane so uh, at last i would like to say that some mains are self sufficient so they are better without a team and one of them is jubito 
At rank number 3, we have DMS Kakashi AJ Kid. Now I know he faces some CP issues, but hear me out. It can be fixed with some CP tools, the 5 star CP tools which we get from the factory, as well as if you have the Scarlet Blade tool, then it's a plus point. And at max level Jutsus and Ultimate, the CP cost is greatly reduced. So, yeah. Also, he has a trap clear, which is the best. And if your DMS has like CP issues, then you are not supposed to go solo with him. You should take a good team with Rin and others so that you don't have to use his Jutsus more often. Uh, his trap clear also gives like attack buff, plus it's a very good iframe. His other 4 star hidden Kamui and the trap clear do a good amount of damage all together. Hidden Kamui gives speed buff plus evasion. His old 3 star is a guaranteed paralysis, plus it's health uh, to destroy traps from far away targets. Now, his ultimate is still one of the best in Final Room Entry. I mean, Indra, of course, Indra is the best, but after that, I would say DMS Kakashi is the best. If you have good CP on him, you can easily solo any base, but with team, he works regardless. So at rank number 2, we have Sage of Six Path, Kankuro, the god himself, the Kurohigi. <laughs> so, I mean, Bandai has literally made him so overpowered that he is terrifying. I mean, he has the longest seal in the game, 18 seconds from his fire style jutsu, the new 4 star. It also gives like ailment resistance to every single ailment in the game. Also, the new 4 star, other one, gives like one shots literally anybody. Sometimes takes like two or three shots on high defense enemies like Gara version 2, but one shots literally anybody else. Also, it gives like speed buff. The ultimate is god tier. I mean, it recovers CP, HP, and cannot possibly be iframed by AIs. I mean, the poison remains for like 2-3 more seconds after the ultimate has ended, so that the AI die regardless of it, which is enough to kill anyone. Now, it's better if you use his jump skill instead of a 4th Jutsu as a main, but he cannot keep his team together so yeah but he is definitely the solo god in this game as of now and he is the easiest solo in the game now before we jump to rank number one here are some honorary mentions uh, there is no ranking for these characters they are just here because they also do good in attack mission i'm not gonna go into the details for them just a quick pro and con so shishui he was the solo god at a time, but sadly not anymore. Uh, no counter against seals or other debuffs, doesn't work with current meta defenders, only way out is his ultimate. It gives you invincibility for some time after the ultimate ends, but yeah. The evasion also doesn't work anymore like it used to because of the debuffs on the defenders nowadays, uh, like uh, uh, Itachi version 3 uh, Amaterasu or Gara seal or anything and Ogara's Tornado, but if you're still good with him, especially if you have a higher level ultimate, he might work in attack missions. Wandering Sasuke or Sasuke version 3. He was basically the same as Obito version 1 Rikid, but his new ultimate has a longer cooldown and the old one can be easily iframed. But the teleport and the shurikens made him a good solo AM when his Rikid came, but uh, he is not as good as he was before. Tobirama Rikit. Now, his Rikit has a combination of pretty good Jutsus, but he lacks damaging output. But yeah, you can use him if you really want to. I mean, his new ultimate cannot be iframed. It stays there for like 7-8 seconds and has like 10-15 to 15 hits. But again, he cannot keep, his, keep any team together. He is on his own and he doesn't have a high damage output. Gara version 2 Now if you main him, you will be able to do the awesome Gara version 2 combo uh, against any enemy, but again, he cannot keep a team together, but he is still usable as a main, and he can definitely uh, defeat the enemies, but he is kind of slow, and he faces like time issues along the way when completing a fortress. Hashirama Rikit Now with Hashirama, you just want to run into a tornado trap and use her ultimate 
as soon as possible doesn't matter uh, where you land as soon as you see a enemy you just use the ultimate his ultimate is one of the best in the game as of now he has like double seals he has two jutsus which gives you guaranteed seal and infinite knockdown combo it's really useful but he doesn't have any iframe or something to save himself when he is attacked especially by someone like Gara version 2 or, or Seijo 6 path Naruto so yeah he is not on par with other attack mission mains so number one we have Edo Itachi or Itachi version 3 not gonna lie one of the best kits in the game as of now his 4 star Yata Miller gives resistance to all nature types long range jutsu 2 second invincibility plus dot damage plus recover CP and the trap player 3 star it negates all stat boost of enemies plus gives defense debuff and of course clears traps and the shuriken jutsu which is also his 3 star is kind of one shot jutsu and also gives dot damage the ultimate on him is really cool and useful plus it gives like large seal after the ultimate ends sets up a damaging area plus gives dot damage large and the cooldown decreases at high levels i mean you can solo or take a team he is the best attack mission main as of now in the game so guys that was a long detailed ranking video from my side and i don't expect you to agree with me at every ranking but yeah you are free to have your own opinions i'm not forcing my views on you let me know what do you think about the ranking in the comments next up i'm gonna make top defenders or top supporters in the game let me know which one you want first and make sure to follow me on, on social medias hit that subscribe button and notification bell i am doing live streams so don't miss those until next time sayonara